Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Kids, kids in, in the kitchen. kitchen. The show where the kids are in control of the kitchen. We have a fun fact day for you guys. So, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to go to La Gatot to see some of the cake decorating. That sounds good. What and about me, you, Amina? And me and Ilma are going to be making tuna sandwiches and they're really delicious. What about you, Kanita? Well, me, I'm going to have my friend here and we're going to be making wonderful cupcakes. That sounds delicious. So what are we waiting for, guys? Let's get started. Today, me and Amina are going to make simple and easy tuna sandwich, which are really healthy. First of all, you have to wash your hands. We already did. Then you have to say Bismillah. Let's say it together. Three, two, one. Bismillah. Okay. First of all, you have to drain your tuna. We already did that. Next, we have to cut your onions and your celery. Okay, I finished my celery, so I'm going to put it in the bowl and I'm going to help you cut your onions. Huh? You have to cut the onions into very small pieces. You have to make sure that none of the pieces or the onions or the celery are left in the bowl. Don't forget the mayonnaise. Okay. Do you want to stir while I put it in? Four cans of tuna, one celery, one onion and, and four spoons of, of mayonnaise. Do you want put the bread on the tray and I'll do the pepper and the salt into the bowl. We're going to grill the bread for five minutes. Okay, my mum took the garlic breads out of the oven and we let them to cool down and now they're cooked. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a garlic bread, a garlic bread slice each, and we're going to get the mixture, and we're going to spread it on the garlic bread like this. And if you want, so that you can add cucumbers to the mixture or any other vegetables. We're going to start from this one water match, yeah, to this, uh, like this. How long would you hold it for? You can hold it a uh, while. Well. I, I, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of and then see how I'm, how I'm doing it. Right, now rest of you are going to do it. You're going to do you and now uh, you're going to do it. Make sure, squeeze it from the top okay. and squeeze it up slowly. I'll tell you, when you're stuck, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, come, come a bit further down here. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Right, okay. Press 
and then release. That's it. Well done. Well done. Beautiful. Right, keep it straight. This one as straight as possible. Yeah, now the color will come. Yeah, now it's not squeeze it. Yeah, very good. Well done. Beautiful. This is the best one. ingredients and our hands are washed now we're ready to begin today I'm not alone and here with my friend Hadra so you wanted to learn how to make cupcakes is that right mm -hmm. so what's your favorite color pink pink so seeing as you like pink we're going to make a nice pink buttercream to go on top does that sound good mm -hmm. okay let's begin so first what we're going to do is we're going to add 110 grams of butter with 225 grams of sugar and we're going to mix these until the sugar dissolves into the butter. Now you want to make sure that your butter is at room temperature so it's nice and soft and it's easy to work with. that's it everything's mixed together now what we're going to do is we're going to crack two eggs into a bowl and we're going to add them a bit at a time so do you want to crack one of them yeah. now we're going to turn the mixer on and whilst that's mixing we're going to add our eggs a bit of time. Okay so that's done now can you see that the mixture is a really light yellow colour and that's what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our flour. In here we've mixed two flours together. We've got self-raising flour and we've got all-purpose flour. Now we've used 150 grams of self-raising and 125 grams of plain. Now we've mixed them together in a bowl and what we're going to do with this is the same as we've done with the eggs, we're going to add them a bit of time. Do you want to do these as well? Now whilst we do that, we're going to add in the milk. Again, we're going to have to add this a bit of a time. Okay, so now the mixture's done. So do you want to do me a favor? Can you please 
do the baking tray, just put some papers in there. And while she does that, I'm just going to get rid of everything we don't need. Okay, first I'll show you guys how to do the method with two spoons. Now what we're going to do, one of the spoons is going to have the mixture like this and the other one is just going to scrape it off. So, let's just do that basically. That's quite easy. Now the thing is with the spoons you've got to be quite careful. You want to get the right amount of mixture all the way through. You want to get the same amount. But with an ice cream scoop it's quite easier because use it once, you just fill it up and then you've got the same shape all the way through. So you get your mixture into the ice cream scoop and then you just put it in basically. Just like that. And you've got a consistent, you've got the same size all the way through. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape the mixture from the bowl and that will give you your last ones. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these in an oven, 180 degrees and they're going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and golden brown on top. We've took them out of the oven and I must say they look really nice, don't they? Yeah, they They've rised up and they look great. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make the buttercream icing to go on top. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add 250 grams of icing sugar with 55 grams of butter. Now there will be a bit of a mess because of the icing sugar. That's why we need eight grams. Now we're going to add 30 millilitres of milk. Now I'm just going to remove everything, but I'm going to mix it first just a bit with a spatula because the icing sugar does get everywhere. So. Now we can use the mixer, but before I do that, seeing as you said pink was your favourite colour, we're going to add just a few drops of red food colouring because when you mix it in with a white it becomes pink. So just a few. And we turn the mixture on. Mixer on. Now if you don't think that there's enough colour, you can always add a few drops. I'm just going to add just a few more drops so it's a nice bright pink. Okay, so that's done. It's a really nice pink colour. Now for this part, we're going to need something really important. Do you know what it is? Creativity. We're gonna, now what we're going to do is we're going to top these and we're going to make them look really nice. So what we need to do is we're going to get the piping bag, put your hand here and then you just put it round your hand like that. Now you open that space and then you just fill it with the ice. So you just grab that up, place it in and then you just close your fingers around it and then just pull up. And you just do that until you've got some of the mixture. Now over the bowl so any doesn't come out. Just like that. And there you go, it comes out. So now I'm going to show you a technique that I learned. But first let's just... I like that. Let's put 
put this bowl aside and I'll show you. So you get one of your cupcakes and what we're going to do is we're going to start from the edge and we're going to go around, 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 build up and then finish the top. So you have to hold it straight though. So you start here, you press slightly. And go in. Keep going round and finish like that. Does that look good? Yeah, it does. And then you top it with whatever you like. So this one, hmm, let's go for a nice white flower and some shiny sprinkles to go around it. And that's it. So, do you want to try one? Yeah. Two more. Now, coming closer. Yep. Wow, you're doing very well. That looks really good. Yeah. Do you want to add a little flower or no? Well, Hydra, I hope you enjoyed me showing you how to make these cupcakes and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's try them. <laughs>